Good morning. What channel am I on? Dogman. Welcome to the Dogman. Oh, I mean, you know, when you got as many channels as I do, you get confused. Well, I really only have two. Still gets confusing. I just had to write some stuff down. Dryer sheets. For some reason, I can remember anything else when I go in the grocery store. But dryer sheets ain't the, on the list. Got, you, you gotta have them things, you know, when you you go to put your clothes in the dryer and, and so when you take them out it doesn't shock the living hell out of you. Them things. And it makes them smell good. Well, I keep forgetting to get them. And what was the other thing? See, I can't even remember now. Oh, but it's, you know, there's like two items that I continuously forget, so I wrote them down. Well, I forgot I wrote them down. Now, where's the list? It does no good to make a list if you lose the list. I don't know. Anyway, I didn't say any hoose. Boy, don't you just want to smack somebody when they say that anywho? I know. What was I doing? Oh, I was just... I just watched Mama V's digging video. With that guy's on that digging machine. And a lot of you are sitting there going, Oh, that's wonderful. He's digging. He's, he's getting her whole trench dug for... I guess she's running electric. Or water. Not me. I seen that dude, he hit a rock and he about fell off that machine and I was hoping. I'm waiting for the times he's getting chunked off that thing. That was funny. I know. I'm that kind of guy that looks for the, looks for those kind of things. We all got to see things different. Yeah, I was reading some of her comments and thank God there's some on there. But there's two people that I saw. Uh, that I deleted off my channel for that very reason because nothing they and, and I've noticed that with some other people These people I won't mention their names. They always got to have something negative to say It's never anything positive and hey, man I don't mind if somebody gets on there and criticizes me and leaves it in the comments It's when it's a stupid comment and believe me we get a lot of those or it's if I notice a pattern and you guys would think, oh, they got so many subscribers, they don't remember. I, rem I know who the habitual complainers are, the habitual, you know, naysayers. And I just delete them, you know, delete those people, put up a short, get those people back. Way I see it. But yeah, what's the same. And I just deleted these two individuals probably last week. And I was right, you know. I was right. They're just nasty. Some people can be just, they're just miserable in life, man. Well, yeah, I didn't put up a video yesterday. Uh, I just didn't do it. I ain't got no excuse. I didn't promise I'd do one every day here. Uh, went and got my grill that I've been looking for. And the story on that is, I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video. I wanted a Blackstone it's called a tailgater and the legs will collapse and it's on wheels and they'll collapse and you can throw it in your truck and on one side's a grill okay it's got the thermometer it's got the grates you cook steaks or whatever on it and the other side's a big griddle and that's the one I wanted I didn't but most of the ones they make are just a big griddle and I you know you don't cook a steak on a griddle you sear it on a griddle but you don't cook it on you could I don't think it'd be as good. Now, I'm not a big gas grill advocate, but I'm going to be cooking out a lot out there. So I wanted something I could hook my propane to and a griddle. It doesn't matter if it's charcoal. You know, you're not going to have a charcoal griddle. So, man, it took me two hours to put that dude together yesterday. It, the weather was great. It was kind of enjoyable. I put a picture of that grill right here. Isn't that cool? I know. I got it. Heated up some burgers on it yesterday. Uh, they were already cooked from the day before. I just figured I'd reheat them on there. But uh, 
I got to season the griddle. You're supposed to heat it up all the way. And then they had a sticker on there. And all that gooey sticker stuff was on there. I had to burn that off. Then you're supposed to take a uh, paper towel on some tongs with some oil. I'm going to use probably olive oil. It's what I season my cast iron skillets with. And you're supposed to do that and repeat three or four times. Get it good and seasoned. And then it's ready for use. But I'm going to... I cleaned up everything in the carport yesterday, so I got a nice clean area. Went over it with a magnet, found anything that was on the ground. Uh, so we'll be using that a lot. And then, you know, I want to taste, I got a taste for some charcoal flavored stuff. I still got my charcoal grills. But I've got like three full tanks of propane that I'd filled up and then I just didn't need it anymore for my uh, heaters and that. So I got that done, and what else is going on? Yeah, <laughs> if you've seen the video, if you didn't watch the video on Washita Mountain Living because it was a review, go watch it, because it was a pretty good video. I locked my keys in my, we go out, and I met uh, Anson and Gladys from Ivy's Family Fact Totem. And then we decide, you know, we're shooting the videos, we're going to move to the other side of the park. Uh... Uh, yeah, there, where the pond was. So I locked my doors on my truck because I got a, I got some self-defense mechanisms inside there that I wouldn't want nobody to steal or anybody, you know. So I locked it, but I thought the keys were in my pocket. Nope. So there were two choices. And believe me, we looked around that park for a piece of wire, clothes hanger, whatever, nothing. There was nothing I could try to get that open with. So we had two choices. Call the sheriff's department because they got all them tools to get in them. Or have one of them take me back to my house, which I don't have a key to get into. I would have had to break in the back door. Come all the way back. You know, it was, it's 20 minute drive. 20 minutes home, 20 minutes back. Yeah. So we opted to call the sheriff's department, and it was a guy I've known for years. He came, and he liked the e-bikes, and he took one for a ride. And then I donated two e-bikes. I don't need four of them, man. I can't ride four at once. So he's going to be on vacation for a week. And then I uh, told him to stop by the house and I'll let him piece got he likes the one the big one that we were reviewing but I said you I've got two folding e-bikes which might be good you guys could keep in you know they most of them drive pickups and they I think they pretty much done away with their cars uh so they could but they could use them for man hunts they go on I mean hey man you're cruising along on them nobody can hear you coming but there's places they can't get to with vehicles, like in the forest. You could easily ride, you know, places uh, they go look. Anyway, that's what, because I don't need to. So he's supposed to come by. I'll try to get that on film. I reached out to the company to see if they might want to donate a few more. They don't. So whatever. So today I got to go out and pull the big weed eater out. You know, the one with the handlebars, because every May... August and I believe October is when I go back and I weed eat all that stuff in the back where the trails are and it takes used to take me about four days until I got that big weed eater and that has the the body harness that you wear and it's a whole lot easier on the body so you can, so I can go quite a bit you know quite a while with that without wearing out uh, the weather is going to be perfect today. I mean, this whole week we're going to be in the 70s, low 80s. So what a time to get out there. Uh, it's still not fun. And man, are there a lot of snakes out this year. I don't know what it is. I've seen well, I've seen three yesterday. None, none of them are venomous, but if the, you know, the big, I've seen a bunch of those uh, rat snakes, the black snakes. Those are the ones you want around because they'll eat the copperheads, they'll eat the rattlesnakes. And they're, I think, uh, Butt Nuggets Homestead, she had, she had a video of one of them eating a copperhead. It was pretty cool. 
So they will eat them. And uh, then I seen speckled king snake. And then I seen another one. I've never. Well, I can't think of the name. They're they're just green. Like I don't call it some kind of tree snake. I'm I'm not up on all my snakes. I can tell which ones are venomous, but that's about it. And you know I let them drink out of the chickens water and then let them go get breakfast in there and get eggs. Yep, I don't mind them. They don't hurt chickens, man. I've never. I took care of thousands and thousands of chickens when I worked at the ranch. Never seen one kill any chickens. Now, babies, yeah, but we didn't have any babies out there that were that small. Uh, they're not going to hurt your chickens. All they want is the eggs. They have, much, have a much easier time eating an egg than a chicken. But the boss didn't like snakes. And he knew they weren't going to hurt the chickens, but he if he found them, he'd kill them. If I found them, I'd bag them up and I'd take them way out past the pasture and let them out. Because you got those rat snakes, you got to take them pretty far because they'll come right back. And I did have that happen last year with a very, I've never seen one as aggressive as this one was. It got in the dog apartment. So I took it, no, first it got in the chicken Got in with the chickens. They were creating a ruckus. Probably one in the morning. I do have a video on that somewhere. And I got him out. And I released him over by the dog cemetery. Well, the next day he's in the dog apartment. And so I got him out. Released. I was going to release him again. and But he kept coming back. And he was extremely aggressive. They will bite you. And you could get sick or an infection if they, you know, bite you hard enough, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I had to take him out because he, he wasn't cooperating with the plan. Anyway, guys, I've got some stuff to do today. Very busy week next week. So if I miss one of these here and there, I will guarantee you I will miss one a couple of days. Because I've got to get up early and, and doctor's appointments, things like that. Now I've had some other things i got to do. So, it's a really busy week. But I'll try to get them up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Go check out Watch Tall Mountain Living too. Happy trails.